All right, here we have the Oncidium Dancing Lady, best known for its blooms that look like little dancing ladies. You can see the dress right here and a little torso and head. But uh, these are epiphytic orchids, which means they grow on other structures. Mainly in nature, they will grow on other trees or rock surfaces. They aren't uh, parasitic. They don't take any nutrients or anything from what they're growing on. Uh, they actually get all their nutrients from the air. So that's kind of interesting. But let's get into the care instructions for this guy. First of all, when we have them in our homes, we need to give them very bright light. So you need to put them right up in a window uh, that faces east, west, or south. This is for the northern hemisphere. And uh, of those three faces of east, west, and uh, south, they need to have the widest view of the sky. Okay, so the plant wants to see a bunch of sky. That's how we know that it's gonna have really bright light. Okay, so first things first, bright light always. Second thing we want to do is watering, okay? So they don't want to ever dry out completely, not 100%, but they do want to dry out about 50%, okay? Um, so what I do is I take a chopstick or something that you can probe the soil with and I stick it down into the soil and, or the potting medium, sorry, this isn't in soil, and uh, pull it out. And if it's wet, you know, I stick it down about halfway. If it's wet, then I wait. I wait a few days and I'll check it again. But if it's dry, then I give it a really good thorough soaking. You want to make sure whenever you water, you're saturating all of the roots. That's the idea, okay? So you cannot overwater this plant in terms of a quantity. You can only water in terms of frequently. So as long as you are letting it dry out about 50% in between waterings, just water as thoroughly as you possibly can, okay? So that's going to be watering. And make sure it's room temperature water. You don't want to give it any ice cubes. You don't want to do anything like that. Just regular room temperature water is going to do the trick for these guys. Next, we'll talk about fertilizing, okay? You'll want to fertilize these guys about once a month with a diluted 10-10-10 or 15-15-15, something that's really well balanced, uh, fertilizer. They aren't super heavy feeders, but they will appreciate um, some consistent feeding, you know, especially because they do like to be more root bound. So there's a lot more roots in here oftentimes than there is potting medium, you know, and the potting medium does not have any nutrients in it. So we have to provide that through fertilizer. Okay. So the next thing I want to talk about, this is a little bit different from regular orchids, the Phalaenopsis orchid or the moth orchid, whatever you want to call it. You cut off its bloom stalks uh, after they're done blooming. But with Oncidium orchids, uh, and this one in particular, you don't want to cut the bloom stalks off right away because there is a, a pretty good chance that it will still rebloom from the same stalk. So the only time we want to actually cut these stalks off is when they do brown up all the way and they become that hardened stick. If that is the case, then you can cut it off as close to the base as you can. But otherwise, uh, leave the stalk when the blooms die off and there's a really good chance that you'll still get more blooms coming off of this one. Next, I wanna talk about a potting medium, okay? So when we do repot these guys, uh, oftentimes you don't need to go up in a pot size. I would, I repot them about every two years or so, give or take. Um, but that's just to refresh the, 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 the medium. They don't need more room to grow or anything like that. Um, if we let the, the potting medium break down too much, it can actually release some harmful things into the roots and we don't want that. So that's the reason for changing the potting medium more than anything else. But anyway, when I do repot them, I use 50% uh, long fiber sphagnum moss and 50% orchid bark, okay? So make a nice mixture of those. That's gonna allow quite a bit of moisture to drain out, but also it wants to retain a little bit of moisture as well. So it's a good balance of the two, uh, of the two right there. Um, but that's gonna do it for the care instructions for the Oncidium Dancing Lady. If you have any questions about this orchid, let me know in the comment section below, or of course you can always message me on Tanner the Planner.